Hey, T, what are you doing? I'm wrapping up my leftovers. In that? What do you mean that? Oh, this is aluminum foil. Right. I think you're thinking of our metal foil tape sheets. Oh. Well, let me show you what to do with that. Cool. All right, T, so you know I was just joking about the metal foil tape wrapping your lunch. Oh, this, yeah. this stuff is so cool. So tell us about it. Okay, so it is a metal foil with an adhesive back, and it comes in two different sizes. This is 6x12, mm -hmm. and this is a smaller size that's ideal for cars, and this is what I like. I'm a card maker primarily. Cool. So, um, and so this just already has a paper backing, just, and I see you get several sheets, so like six in that, three in that. That's yes. cool. All right. It's very nice. So these are some of the things you can do with it. You can... Check this out. Wow. Color it. Color them, die cut them. You could stamp on them too. Yes. I'm sure. So look at that. That's so cool. All right, so you got a lot of ideas. I sell your stuff over there. Let's go. Fire it up. Okay. So you can take a piece and put it through one of the embossing folders, and this is what you get. All right, so it's cool texture. Really deep. That's nice. All right. And you can use them with alcohol inks. And most people use them traditional, the traditional way, right. which is to put some ink on the felt. On and then the ink applicator tool and stamp it down. Right. Yes. But I'm going to show you a different way to use them. Okay. So you take a couple of colors of alcohol ink that you would like to use. Right. I'm going to use citrus, which is one of my favorite Adirondack colors. Cool. Um, I know it's hard to choose. I know. Like, I like this. I like this. Too yeah. much. Yeah. Um, and let's go with raspberry. Perfect. And sunset orange. Great. So what you're gonna do is just drip some color, just randomly. Oh, right onto the metal. Yes. Cool. Take that. Take the raspberry. I like that. It's definitely far more intense that way. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think the camera's picking that up too. That's good. And we'll use citrus last. All right. Okay. So you take your ac alcohol ink applicator tool right. and just dab. On that, just kind of moves it around a little bit. It does. And that's going to give you a chance, I think, to probably layer a lot more colors because obviously you're going to have to go back with more and more ink but yes i see that that's far more intense i mean color wise you see that and the great thing about alcohol inks we know is that the fact that they blend together you can just keep adding layers and layers and layers yes you can can i play around with this i just want to squirt some of that in there i like that i love that look because i love how that pulls up in there that's really cool. So, so this is the this is the sheet. So it's smooth. Yes. Good. And here's the adhesive back. Okay. Um, you are going to take a stamp. This is a Hero Word stamp. I love that stamp. And ink it up with archival ink. Now archival is really important simply because it's permanent ink. It's permanent so, ink. I know, like the stress base. wouldn't work. Right. All right. And really. Stamp that out. That's good. So yeah, that, that's what I love about archival. Like you said, oil based, so it's really it's going to be nice. All right, she's stamping on a slick surface. Everyone, here we go. Da, 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 da. That's that's right. Okay. Drum roll, please. So you stamp, okay. and not always evenly sometimes, but that's okay. That's all right. We're going to cut that out. I'm sure. Yes. Measure. Oh, cool. Look at that. On the metal. But that's not dry, I'm sure. No. Yeah, I'm being really careful not to touch the image. Not until you've heat set it. Okay. And we're going to do that with a heat tool. And just dry it. That's cool. I like that look because, I mean, I suppose one of the things I want to point out is that if you were going to colorize this, you would want to colorize it before you stamped it. Because obviously, if you put alcohol ink over the archival, it would eat it away, uh, chemical versus chemical, unless you kind of re were really careful with your markers. So, but I just like it just on the the plain foil. I think that looks really cool. Let me hold that up again. That's good. And you could probably go in, 
use your embossing tools, emboss it, do anything like that. That's cool. I want to share something with you that I like to do with the foil tape, and that is, of course, to die cut it. So here I've taken uh, one of the decorative strip dies and run this right through the Vagabond to die cut it. And what happens is it does cut through. It wrinkles it a little bit, which is cool. It's got the paper back, but now check this out, T. I've got little adhesive back. That's metal stickers. Awesome. That's pretty cool. So now so, you can customize stickers. That's right. Customize stickers. We can ink them. We can do all sorts of things. So thanks for sharing some ideas using the metal foil tape. Really cool. No problem, Tim. Fun.